So one player who was never a major player in the NBA that is always kind of in the back of people's heads for one reason or another is OJ Mayo. Obviously, he was one of the best high school players in his class. He was the guy who trash-talked Michael Jordan as a high schooler and got destroyed. And then he ended up being declared ineligible to play college basketball for taking improper benefits. And he was declared ineligible two years after he finished playing college basketball. And then obviously he was banned from the NBA in 2016. But that ban was actually lifted at the start of this NBA season. So he's eligible to be reinstated in the NBA. And if you were to look at him, obviously before his last two years in Milwaukee, you might think, oh, after two years, he probably would have a chance of making it back on a roster. And as you all know, he's currently not on an NBA roster. So this is a video where I'm going to talk about OJ Mayo and what he's doing right now, who he's playing for and what he's done since the two year ban and whether I think he will end up getting another chance in the NBA or not. So before this video starts, I'd just like to say we are doing a daily December. We're uploading a video every single day. I know these videos are getting later and later and later. So uh, I'm gonna try to get it back into somewhat decent schedule, especially for all the people that are watching from Europe. But also, we are trying to hit 70,000 subscribers by the end of the month. We hit 66,000 subscribers yesterday, and we are like at 66,400 right now nearly, which is absolutely nuts. So if you guys could uh, subscribe, that'd be great. We are going for 70,000 subscribers at the end of the month. And also a big thanks to Athletics Case for sponsoring the video. With copyright issues, with a lot of basketball footages, um, sponsorships allow me to keep this as my job. Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! So OJ Mayo, as I said, was one of the best high school players that had been seen in years. He ended up going to USC, which was very confusing. And it turns out he actually got improper benefits. And as I said earlier in the video, he ended up being ineligible to play college basketball, which they only declared after he finished playing. And also that they completely withdrew from the postseason in the 9 10 season. So OJ Mayo actually started off looking really solid in the NBA. He ended up averaging 18 and a half points per game as a rookie, shooting 43% from the field, nearly 40% from three, which is really good. The second year he averaged 17 and a half points per game. And then he seemed to fall off a cliff for two years, averaging 11.3 points and 12.6 points per game. In the end, the Memphis Grizzlies decided not to re-sign him and he went to the Dallas Mavericks. And he actually had a solid, solid year in Dallas, where he averaged 15.3 points per game. He then signed with the Milwaukee Bucks for three years, and again, his play seemed to completely, completely fall off. In his three years in Milwaukee, he averaged 11.7 points, 11.4 points, and 7.8 points per game, which you might not think is too bad, but as a pure scorer, it is. His first year, he shot 40%, second year, he shot 42%, third year he shot 37% from the field which was just terrible and it was noticeable that OJ Mayo wasn't in NBA shape probably the end of his NBA career on the 1st of July 2016 he was dismissed from the NBA for drug violation and that ban was actually to last two years so obviously it was to last till 2017 2018 so coming into this season he should have been eligible to be reinstated into the NBA but why wasn't he? Obviously, he showed that he was still an NBA level player while he was uh, with the Milwaukee Bucks, just obviously wasn't in the greatest shape. But still, had he not been banned, he would have been signed by another NBA team. But OJ Mayo actually didn't play any basketball until April of 2018. Well, he didn't play any competitive basketball anyway. He said he was getting himself back in shape, that he was trying to make a comeback for the NBA which was a little bit off because even though he was banned from the NBA, he wasn't banned from any of the other leagues around the world. And he, in my opinion anyway, if he was really interested in playing basketball, he should have went and played professionally somewhere else. But it took nearly two years for him to decide to do this. And on April 4, 2018, he did sign a professional contract. He did sign to play basketball again. However, was it in Europe? No. Was it even in China? No. Australia? No. He signed to play with Atleticos de San Germán in Puerto Rico. He lasted not even three months. On the 27th of June 2018, he was actually released by the team. He started 18 of his 21 appearances with the team. However, he shot just 39% from the field and only averaged 13.4 points per game, 3.9 rebounds, 3.5 assists and 1.1 steals. And this isn't somewhere like EuroLeague where it's difficult to average more than 15 points a game. This was Puerto Rico where he was only averaging that amount. And on October 22nd this year, he signed with a team in Asia. But again, was it China? No. 
He signed with the Dasin Tigers of the Super Basketball League in Taiwan. And if you guys don't know who the Dasin Tigers are, they're the team that Sim Villar, the 7 foot 5 guy that could barely walk, played for last season and dominated. OJ Mayo, the third pick in the NBA draft, a guy who was hoping to be in the NBA right now, is currently playing in the Taiwanese League. However, according to AsiaBasket.com, he is averaging 24.3 points per game, and the clips in the background that you guys are watching are actually from a game where he did score 39 points. So he is playing well, to be fair, in the Taiwanese League. But again, while the Taiwanese League isn't one of the lowest standards of professional basketball, it's really not nowhere near comparable to any of the even top leagues anywhere in Europe. So it really doesn't mean much he's averaging 24 and a half points per game. So will LJ Mayo make it back into the NBA? I'd say there is a 99.9% chance he doesn't. And to be completely honest, and to be completely honest, if he was really serious about going back into the NBA, he probably would have tried to play basketball non-stop professionally somewhere over those two years that he was banned. However, it took him nearly two years to play for anyone and he's played in Puerto Rico and Taiwan and doesn't appear to be in any better shape. He actually looks to be in worse shape than he was with the Milwaukee Bucks. So no, I just don't see it happening. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.